Hey guys, Backstage Business here. This is James Sinclair. This is The Big Entrepreneurial Show. You're gonna love this episode. Let's go! Hey guys, welcome back. So we're having a bit of a change around here at Marsh Farm. We're moving out offices and we're building a new studio. This is the beginning of it. It's gonna get better than that. Uh, but what I wanted to do today was show you around our Father Christmas experience, which is our award-winning Father Christmas experience here at Marsh Farm. Tell you how it's going. We're gonna meet some of the people in the experience. Uh, and I'll tell you how we set it up. You've seen in earlier backstage businesses, the setup of this process. It's a big part of our business, really. And it's really a great thing because when we took over Marsh Farm in December, but it was a disaster. We lost hundreds of thousands of pounds because we didn't have any winter turnover and this has plugged that gap well and truly uh, and it allows us to survive through the winter and I'm very passionate about delivering that experience. So guys, why I love this business is because it's a business built by design. Most businesses are not built by design. Um, people just carry on working in their business. We very much plan how we want this business to work. So therefore, we have the ability to give our customers what I call customer cuddles because there's enough margin in the business we can give them surprises along the way that they don't know they've paid for. If you can get that into your business, you're onto a winner. And that's why this is a winner winner chicken dinner. Let's go. In fact, the whole experience is full of surprises. And even when the kids come to Elf Academy, which we're in right now, I'll give you a little sneak peek. We give away magic wands and a little poem. We allow the children to write Father Christmas. None of this we put in the marketing. It's all surprises, including these guys. The Magical Wells! The plan was to make the whole experience an immersive experience, getting people off a of marsh farm into a magical land. So we've built all these giant hay bale walls to keep everything contained, but also it controls our customers so we know where they are, so they're not just going off from different places. Customer journey is a fantastic thing about business. Whatever business you're in, maybe you run a website and you need to work out how you can easily get the customer to do what you want it to do. Sometimes people just put too many clicks, too many boxes in. Same this for our Father Christmas experience. When I first run this five years years ago I let people have an option to go wherever they wanted to go we had disasters we had queues we had bad reviews and we sorted that out by controlling where people go and we guide them now that's what people like let's go the journey continues into our enchanted wood in here we make it snow we've got the girls here getting ready for the next part of the show see this is a it's a structured scene that we've created here All the radios are going off here chance everyone's getting ready for the big father Christmas experience this is my favorite room if you look here what we've done with the sea and then we make it snow in here. Have we got any shots of how we make it snow, Chuds? We'll put the shot in right now. New, different stuff. But what we've always tried to do is not broke what isn't fixed. So that doesn't make sense, does it? Not what broke what isn't fixed. What we try and do is took all the best bits from last year, but try and improve. But you know, like a good restaurant that takes your favorite thing off the menu and that just winds you up. I've always tried not to do that with the Father Christmas experience. Like for example, we didn't change Father Christmas to the Easter Bunny because that's, you know, the staple part, the favorite part of the menu. You. And you know, we've, we've got a very big job here and all businesses have got a big job. Don't take the best bits off just because you think you're bored of it. Maybe your customers are not and we have to really carefully manage that. Come on. So guys, after they've done that, they're going to the Enchanted Forest. We've made it snow. We've increased the magic. We now arrive here on the train station. We're about to meet Mother Christmas, which is an experience we have marketed about. So we do market some of the stuff, but you know, we're going to go and see this decor of this room. I've got some bits and bobs here. Um, everyone's favourite Christmas present, the Millionaire Clown and the experienced business and some of the James Sinclair coaching material. Everyone loves that. Let's go. And here's the main woman, Mrs. Christmas. Hello. More things we've learned running Mother Christmas's kitchen. Basically, we're putting 100 people through here every half an hour. We've learned to put secret doors in so staff can get through without it looking obvious. Uh, we've also learned by putting benches around the rooms for the parents so they're not mixing in with the children and not having chairs for the children so they can stand up so we can move things so we reduce queues. Uh, it's a good thing to do. Uh, another thing we've also learned over the years is because we're an events business and always dressing the rooms, what we've done here is trying to come up with neutral backgrounds drops we're doing that more and more around the farm so that basically we're hanging pictures and it means because we're an events business these quick turnarounds should get easier over the next five years let's go so as the tour continues we go through the snow tunnel it's just really exciting for the children now because they're about to meet the big man that is father christmas and this is where they get to meet the big man himself father christmas next year we want to make 
these rooms bigger, better, uh, because some of the problems we've had is actually the rooms are not big enough and some of the groups are quite big that are coming to Father Christmas. We also give a present to Mummy and Daddy as well. Uh, so that's a very good thing. And the children uh, get a little heart from Father Christmas. They don't actually get a present. And when they get the heart, we move over to Teddy Tastic. Let's go. So guys, after they've seen the big man, quick picture of the big man in there because I want people to see the quality of his loveliness. We go care about the beards and how they look. In fact, the elves as well, picture of the elves. We care about all this stuff because it immerses and brings the experience to life. After they've seen Father Christmas, they get a little heart. And with that heart, they get to make one of these teddy bears, which we manufacture for our company, Teddy Tastic. They get the fluff, they make it, and then they can buy all these outfits as well. After they've done that, they get a snowy, which is the elf currency. And with that snowy, they get to go to a toy shop and get a toy as well. Amazing. So once they've done that, they've made a teddy bear. It's now time to go to Elfville and find the toy shop. And I want to show you around right now. Let's go. So here we are, we're in Elfville now. Look how beautiful it looks. The theming, the team have done so very fantastically. They're going over into that bar now. They get to choose a toy, and then I'm afraid it's time to go home. But I hope you enjoyed our Father Christmas experience. I wanted to show you this because, you know, we build this up, we start building it in August. So it's, you know, it's months and months of planning. We're already talking about 2019's experience, how we can up our game and how we can innovate further. There's two things that keep business going, gang. It's innovation and marketing. They're the two key key metrics for a successful business. The thing is, we've innovated this product, but people are catching us up now. So we've got innovate again, we've got plans of how we're gonna make it better. And if you stay watching Backstage Business, you'll get to see it on the big entrepreneurial show. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. Really hope you earned loads. Now, here's a few things that you need to do. You need to hit subscribe so you're notified when we bring out a new video and you can watch the rest of our videos by clicking here and it gets better than that. If you want to come and spend the day with me and learn some real entrepreneurial stuff, come to my free super success seminar. All the details of how you can come along to that are in the link in the description on the video. See you very soon. Bye-bye.